Be not ashamed be bold, sometimes you come across verses that just seem to stop you in your tracks. Today's verses are such for there is so much meat on this bone that it's hard to pick where to start, much less stop. 2 Timothy 1 verses 8 to 10 KJV, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us, and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death, and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, let's break it down. Be not ashamed be bold. First, in verse 8, Paul instructs Timothy, who was prone to be timid, as well as us to not be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of Paul, who was in prison at the time. Instead, Paul notes that he slash we should be partakers of the afflictions that go with being ambassadors of Christ carrying the gospel message to others and this according to the power of God. The conclusion we can draw from this is that, as we are ambassadors for Christ it is likely to be accompanied by afflictions because the enemy of the cross will not take it lying down but will oppose this message at every opportunity. Then in verse 9, Paul notes regarding the power of God and God himself, that God has saved us with a holy calling, ambassadors not according to any talents, works or abilities we possess but rather according to his purpose and his grace. Further he notes that this purpose and grace is something that was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Sorting this out will really twist your noodle, for you see in God's timelessness the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret since the world began was already given to us before time began even though yet to be revealed. It was given us, in Christ, the body of Christ, so that we, as ambassadors, could share this grace with others. Finally, in verse 10, Paul notes that even though we know that the mystery gospel was formerly kept hidden from any prophecy, it is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death, and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Death has been abolished and life slash immortality has been brought to light through the grace gospel of the death burial, and resurrection of Christ. And this incredible offer of grace from God is ours to share with others. And since it is manifest, the sharing is easy, so don't be ashamed, be bold. Believer, live in your holy calling and boldly deliver the gospel of his grace to others.